All right, let's start with the classic happy, 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 beautiful day. Thank you, Claudio, for the reminder to record. So uh, Anna Woodward, I think she said 16 years in network marketing, definitely hit it big in three different companies. I don't know what happened to her second company. I could trace back to that, but they're still in business. So there was some kind of falling out because I think if you're a top leader with a company doing well, it probably takes something pretty amazing to leave, but yet she's with her third company uh, and that company is Modare. And so if you recall uh, uh, accelerated training from Tony and Sarah Zalecki, they're also with Modare. Uh, and then what I did quite simply is I looked at their products, right? So Live Clean, they, they have cleaner living products, some type of collagen science, sciences, and then body systems. And you look, 160 bucks a month, uh, and that's on sale from 194.97, uh, and some of their other products. So, you know, one thing that I always tell people, I've been in the nutrition industry now for you know 30 years, and I can tell you, people will take their supplements when they have a real reason to do it. But as a general rule, I don't know, 90 something percent of them fall off. They're not as consistent. And I promise nobody is as consistent with supplements as they are with coffee and tea. So married 23 years, now has three kids, has been a stay-at-home mom. Yeah, I was right about that, 16 years. Interestingly enough, a classically trained flautist, uh, maybe it's flutist, I'll show you the spelling on that. I found that was interesting. Over 242,000 customers in her organization. So that is quite uh, a bit there. So there's your spelling on flautist, uh, you know, pretty interesting background, but she talked to her about how she has no idea why she volunteered when she was, you know, a, a kid, but I think she said she was 12 years old. And the music teacher asked someone if they'd play a solo and she said, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Uh, and apparently she was really, really good and then turned out to be classically trained and then, you know, went all over the world playing the flute. And she said, it took 20 seconds of courage. And she says, that's really all it ever takes if you're facing something significant. Now, Mel Robbins will tell you it's five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, take action. Uh, and then there's this business mindset. Uh, and, you know, uh, I think it's, I'll think of his name, John Mackey, the founder of Whole Foods, you know, he has a strategy instead of ready, aim, fire, his strategy is fire, ready, aim. <laughs> so you just fire, you just keep going. If you have an inkling to do something, do it. If you want to talk to somebody, talk to them, you know, always stay in good rapport. But think about, you know, all the people, if you just show enough confidence and commitment to your future, ultimately, people are going to take notice of that. She's a big fan of systems. And so she has a master planning system. And you know what, I, I have goals for every life and area, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, social, financial, impactful. And believe it or not, within my hour of power, I'm gonna handle all seven areas. And that's non-negotiable. Every single morning, I'm gonna get that done. And the thing that she says that really, really, really helps her is especially focusing while she's acting uh, and then tracking what her high payoff activity is. So I want you to think about that. If you're having a, a conversation with uh, you know, someone who's a potential prospect, don't multitask with messaging, text messaging, Facebook, something else. Give it your entire focus. Uh, and focus and clarity are two things that work really, really well. Next, she talked about the law of association. You know, Jim Rohn, he's the first person to put math to it. He said, you're the average of five people you spend time with. You know, I look back to, at the proverb and the proverb was written over 2000 years ago. And it says, walk with the wise if you wanna be wise. And then if you, you wanna have problems, walk around with fools. And so you wanna be very, very careful about who you spend the most time with. And here's what she said, find a group that challenge you and inspire you uh, and ultimately spend a lot of time with them. So I copied that from her presentation. It's not her quote, it's uh, Amy, and uh, maybe Polar is how that's pronounced, but at any rate, you wanna find people that challenge and inspire 
you. And this is a quote that I like, and I don't know who to give credit to. You cannot change the people around you, but you can change the people that you choose to be around. And so ultimately, there's a lot of people that found out that they were in a relationship that wasn't serving them. Now, that can be tough to change sometimes. Uh, that'll definitely change your fabulous five. Uh, and you know what? I think after they get through the, the challenge of it, most people think that was a pretty good decision. Another gym room rule, work as on yourself as much as you work on your business. And you want to get better every day, better every day, better every day, better every day. How much better? Hey, a little bit compounds. Remember the rule of 72. If you get 1% better tomorrow, you're probably not going to notice. The world isn't going to notice. But if you do that 72 straight days by the rule of 72, well, then you are going to be 100% better. And you know what? Hopefully the world notices 100% improvement, but the next 72 days, now you're 100% over the top of that, 200% better. And the next 72, 400%. The next 72, 800%. The next 72, 1600%. So 1% compounds pretty magically over the course uh, of a year. So uh, she said something to this tune. And I, I actually got that from Stormy Wellington. It's hard to sell the dream looking like a nightmare. Uh, and remember, she had this massively big vision she literally wants to help a thousand families earn six to seven figures. Um, that's a phenomenal, phenomenal goal. I have, you know, I haven't done the math on how much money you'd make in organo on that, but let's just say an absolute ton, <laughs> an absolute ton of money. And part of her story, she went to GoPro 10 years ago by herself. Now she earns a million a month. Now here's the deal. They grew their GoPro group every year by the way, so have Kelly and I. First year, I had five people there. Next year, I bought 100 tickets, uh, and I, I paid a lot for them, but I didn't sell them all out. I sold uh, 71, I think, of them. So my event was kind of expensive. Following year, I bought 100. That year, maybe we sold 81. The following year, I bought 100. That year, I sold 91. Then we got 150. Then we got 350 on our team. This year, we have 600. So we're following where success leaves clues. My question for you is when was your first GoPro? And do you want to start with one? Do you want to start with five like I did? Do you want to start with 50? That might be a good choice. And given that it's virtual, you can absolutely do that. And then, you know, she's a big fan of giving yourself grace. And you're going to have a bad interaction. That's just life. You might have a bad day. That's just life. You might have a bad week or month or quarter. Hey, that's just life. But literally the nice thing is every day is a new day and this business is very, very forgiving. You know, I've done a, a number of Zooms with Pete Cohen re recently and I don't know if you know his story. Pete's in London. Uh, I met his, him and his wife when she was battling brain cancer. Uh, and that was in 2012. They beat it. I sent him back to London with a case of coffee. A year later, I was talking to Pete and suddenly he was in the business. But the first question he asked me is he says, Bob, will you come to London? And I said, absolutely. So we booked a, a, a date. I booked a flight. I went to London for I don't remember how long. But if you ever saw that movie, The 11 Magnificent Minutes on Ganoderma, uh, that was an hour long lecture that Pete had a professional videographer put together from that launch. But then Pete got distracted a few times. One time his dad was critically ill and dying. Pete took six months off of everything and spent that time with his dad. Guess what? He still got paid from Organo. None of his other businesses paid. Sadly, his mother got critically ill. She died in January of this year. He took three or four months off to be with his mother. He was there when she passed. So, you know, does this business allow you to take time off? Absolutely. Even 100% time off like Pete did and yet grow consistently. And then, you know, it's been said that all growth occurs outside of the comfort zone. Uh, and she was talking about instincts. Most people want to stay safe. Well, I, I promise you, you're not going to be unsafe stretching yourself to talk to people that you wouldn't normally talk to. I think it was Tim Ferriss that uh, had a clue. Now, he wrote the four hour work week, the four hour body, stuff like that. Um, but he basically said, look, what's the worst thing that could happen? You know, people could laugh in your face, they could beat you up, they could punch you, you know, right? Well, has that ever happened? Not that I know of. 
but you know, he likes to go to the extreme. What's the worst that can happen? You know, someone shares their ignorance and, and shows them that, you know what, they're not the good friend you thought they were, or they're not the type of person you want in your fabulous five. Anybody that's anything but positive about you trying to create a fam a better life for you and your family, you know what, that they're probably not someone we want to spend time with. Uh, and Bob Proctor says this, and, and so I'm, I'm going to go jump ahead in what she said. She said, a leader knows where they are, where they're going, and how they're going to get there. But Bob Proctor says, the problem is where you are. Most people do not even begin to give an honest assessment of where they are. You know, how good a networker are you? Well, that's a really good question. How many people do you talk to every single day? What's the quality of the people that you're talking to? What's your skill level when you're talking? How likable are you? And what is your self-esteem? That's Big Al's formula for success. And you can score zero to 10. And for your total score, you multiply them out. A zero on anything is a zero. And so now if you get really, really good at things, well, you start multiplying it out. And you know, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is a really big number. Five times five times five times five times five a much, much, much smaller number. Zero times anything is an absolute zero. Zero skills, not talking to any people, not talking to anybody of quality, not having any self-esteem, not, you know, not um, being likable, all those things zero out. But I always like this metaphor, you know, let's say you're going someplace uh, and you take a wrong turn. Well, what does the GPS do? it recalculates a route. You don't have to retrace your steps. You don't have to go back to that wrong moment. Just go right from where you are. Go in the correct direction from where you are. Just recalculate your own route. And she talks about her mentors and here are pictures uh, of, in, in, uh, of talking about it. But she says, you know, yeah, you want mentors, but realistically you want the right mentor. You want people that are going in the direction you want to go uh, and have done it successfully. And she said something fascinating. She said, I knew I had to earn my mentor's time every single week. And so, you know, keep score. How many people are you talking to? How many stories are you telling? How many presentations are you giving or inviting to? And how many people are joining? Uh, and you know what, if you keep track of that, and if your mentor said, well, I need you to talk to four people a day, I need you to tell at least your one minute story twice, uh, you got to give a presentation three times a week, and then you earn my time. I wonder how many people would actually be able to meet that criteria. But here's what I'll tell you. If you do that, uh, you're going to make your mentor proud, and you're probably going to make your business very, very successful. So there's their statement. They know who they are, where they're going, and how they will get there. So I plugged in my own notes on that. Remember Eric Worries, I am worthy, I am deserving, I am capable. Leaders have big vision. Uh, you know, and, and Jim Rohn talked about that. He says, you know, if a guy says, yeah, I just want to pay the lousy bills, that's not a very big vision. You're not likely to attract very big people. But look at Stormy Wellington. I, I want to make 1,000 families rich, six figures, seven figures a year rich. And remember, no dream is too big for coffee. And then we also have other verticals. I really love Art Williams, and I'm going to recommend this book, How to Beat Talent, Brains, and Education. And by the way, what he tells you is if you have talent, that is a handicap. If you have brains, you tend to overthink, that's a handicap. Why is talent a handicap? Well, you're naturally talented. You didn't have to work. And how about education? Well, again, you tend to overthink things and think you're overqualified. But he said the same thing. Choose a mentor that has a resume of accomplishment. And I love this short video by Art. You can find that on YouTube, but I'll play it for you now. Just do it. Do it and do it until the job gets done. And then they talk about how great it is to be somebody they're proud of. We need leaders in America who can do it. If you want to become somebody, do it. If you want to go in business for yourself, do it. If you want to become financially independent, do it. I hear too much talk in these United States. Everybody can talk a good game. We need people in America who can do it. I go all over this country with A.O. Williams, and I have people say, Art, you, you can count on me. 
Wonderful. Just do it. All right, I guarantee you this is my last stop. I'm going to win now. Super duper. Just do it. All right, if I could just have one good month and get the ball going, I know I could make it big. Super. Just do it. All right, if I could just pay off this debt, I could really go. Great. Just do it. All right, if I could just sell my house. Do it. Uh, but houses ain't selling. Do it anyway. Uh, Art, I'm not making any money. What can I do? Y you just do it. Hey, do what, Art? You do it and do it and do it. Uh, Art, I guarantee I'm going to win this contest. Super duper. Just do it. Uh, Art, I'm over the hump now. Watch my smoke. Great. Just do it. Uh, Art, I want to make it so bad I can taste it. What I do? You just do it. Art, right, I'm a vice president now. Can I quit doing it? No. Nope. Uh, All right. I don't know if I can keep on keeping on. I'm really hurting what I do. You just do it. Do what, Art? You do it and do it and do it. All right, all my life, I wanted to be somebody important. Well, what, do it then. All right, I'm going to save money so I don't have to go through this again. Great. Just do it. All right, I don't feel like I've had enough training. What I do, you just do it. All oh, right, my manager don't give me no help. What I do, you just do it. Oh, Art, you don't understand. I was Mr. Everything at my former company. You don't mean I, I have to start off down at the bottom and do it, do you? Yep, you really got to do it. Art, right. Art, right, what's the primary difference between winners and losers? The, win the winners do it. They do it and do it and do it and do it until the job gets done. And then they talk about how great it is to finally have achieved something unique and how glad they are that they didn't quit like everybody else and how wonderful it is to finally be somebody they're proud of and make a difference with their life. Thank you. You know, I, I, again, I, I probably have listened to that Art Williams audio book many, many, many times. And I'm going to suggest you do it. Do it and do it and do it and do it and do it. Now, this guy built a network marketing massive organization selling one life insurance policy door to door. He had a big why. His dad dropped dead. I think his dad was 49 years old. Uh, they had a life insurance policy that paid a $10,000 death benefit. And his mother couldn't take care of the family with that money. So she had to go back to work and it never worked outside the home. And then he found out that the sales rep could have sold him a policy with a $100,000 death benefit. Every company had those, but they wouldn't sell it because it wasn't profitable. And he was really angry. And so he said, I'm going to start a life insurance company. We're going to have one policy. It's going to pay that $100,000 benefit for the same price as one that pays $10,000. And he just knock on people's door uh, and became a billionaire. That's with a B, a billionaire with a B. Do it. So she likes confidence and guess what? Like a muscle, it gets stronger when you use it. Confidence is one of the seven C's of success. You've got clarity, you've got confidence, consistent committed concentration is a power hour uh, character to keep it all together. And you might as well enjoy the process and be content. And those are the seven C's. So confidence versus courage. Uh, I'm going to give the explanation there. Jocko Willink, definitely a man of courage. This was a ground commander in Iraq, uh, you know, for the war on terrorism. He says, courage is the ability and willingness to act despite danger. Confidence is an attitude of trust undergirding a belief in success. And Jordan was certainly profoundly confident. She also used this. She said, for every level, there's another devil. And so you want to take your game up a notch. You want to bring your business up a notch. You got to get up a notch. You want to go up two notches. You got to go up another notch and then another notch and another notch and another notch and another notch. How many notches are there? There's infinite notches. How high can you take your game? Infinite, but you'll have a unique set of challenges at every level. And so she says, then you just level up and you grow yourself in your business. Remember, no dream is too big for coffee. Here's simple math. What if over the next five years, you shared your opportunity or your one minute story every day, every day, every day. I'm a big fan of the one minute story now. Here's my one minute story. My life was totally awesome. You know, A-list practice, treating world champion athletes, celebrities, CEOs, teaching all over the world, 
healthy, happy, life is really, really good. One day I have a shoulder injury, I get an x-ray report and the radiologist recommends a bone scan. What does that mean? He, he thinks I have metastatic cancer in my shoulder. I got that extra report just as I was leaving town. So for one week, I'm sitting there thinking, what am I gonna do if I have a short time left on the planet? How am I gonna take care of my family? Then I remembered, you know, your network is your net worth. So here's the question, are you open to that concept working for you? And that's my one minute story. If you're open to it, let's have a conversation. Just that easy. So you get your five. If they duplicate the next year, you're at 25. The next year, 125 more, that is. Following year, 625 more. Following year, 625 more. By the way, you probably didn't know any of these people back here. Uh, I mean, you might not have even known these people, but suddenly you got 3,905 people on your team. Uh, how does the math work? Uh, I thought I had that as the next slide. Let me see if I did. But if you have a team that does 3,905 uh, 3,905 people doing $100 a month, that's $390,000. If you have five frontline leaders, you probably earn about 7%, and that's $27,000 a month. Now, what if you only have one-fifth of that number of people? What if you only have 800 people? Then one-fifth of that amount. How much is that? That's still over five grand a month. What if people only do $20 a month, uh, one-fifth of that? Well, it's still a thousand extra a month. That's not bad money. That, by the way, that's 800 people at 20 bucks a month. See how the math works out? That's pretty doggone good. She made a point to say that no is definitely not the end of the world. And then we talked about why power, I believe. And, you know, so Coach Jimmy Johnson, before one of the Super Bowls of the Dallas Cowboys, he says, I'm going to put a, a 20 uh, foot beam on the ground, 12 inches wide. You know, how many of you would walk across it right now? And of course, everybody said, come on, coach, give me a challenge. And he says, now I'm going to put it between two 100-story buildings, one of the buildings on fire and your kids on the other side. Well, guess what? Now you get, give a big enough why, they'll ultimately do it. What do we have in this business? Time freedom, money freedom, location freedom, health freedom, beautiful confidence, loving relationships. All of that is absolutely possible. And she really likes the uh, Olympian Simone Biles supposedly the greatest of all time. I, I haven't watched much TV, haven't watched any of the Olympics uh, this go round, but you know, she says they basically are committed to their program, committed to their training and commitment leads to greatness. So that will be the end of that. I'm gonna stop that share and I wanna see if anybody has any questions about anything. I just need to make a comment. I always have and get value every time I listen to you. It's never the same, but always the same. Just always, always receiving information all the time. So for that, I'm forever grateful. Thank you. Well, and for you, you're showing up, you're getting that little better every day and it's compounding. And how beautiful is that? So well done to everybody, both on Facebook and here. Dr. Vaughn. Happy, beautiful day, Jeff. One minute story template. What, what are your points? Uh, this is my life before network marketing. This is what I didn't like. Here's how it's changed. This is what I'm excited about for the future. That's Eric Worre's template. Oh, okay. Now keep in mind, I tweaked it um, because I'm always tweaking. And so, you know, I, I had a scare that put me into action. I studied under a, a guy named Russ Devan Russ Devan is the guy that launched Jordan Adler and he just likes to, you know, start a conversation saying, look, you know, I've, I've heard that your network is your net worth. Are you open to that concept working for you? And by the way, if they say, no, I'm not open, he's, the case is closed. He's still interested in them as a human. He's still interested in them, in them as a friend. You don't close the door on everything because they don't want to be part of your business, but you know, okay, cool. They're not open. If they are open, it's a nice lead into the, the business. So I'm always blending, you know, I, always picking up new tips from people that have won big. Uh, and this guy, he launched Jordan Adler. I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, there is, I'll have to think of the guy's name. There was this 
long haired ponytail fitness trainer in LA that had this machine called the gazelle. And a whole bunch of people flew out to LA with opportunities for Tony to endorse. And while they were all sitting in a room, everybody was putting on this big, as, as he would call it, dog and pony show and showing all these presentations and talking about why all their product was so good. And then ultimately, uh, I think it's maybe, it's, was it Tony Horton? Probably not, but whatever the guy is, he, he just basically looked at him. I'll think of his name soon. It was actually Tony Robbins, believe it or not. I don't think it was Tony Robbins either, but with that, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's not Tony Robbins, but no, I'm 100% sure it's not Tony Robbins. But with that said, um, he says, well, how about you? What have you got? He says, well, I really don't have anything until I know more about you. He says, well, what do you mean? He says, I want to know about you. I want to know about your value system. I want to know about your goals in life. And when I know more about you, then we can have a conversation. And he looked at everybody, he said, all right, everybody else out. You and I are going to lunch. And then he told them about the opportunity. And in six months with this influencer, he, they added 28,000 people to their team. You got the name, Claudio? Tony Little. Tony Little. Tony Little. Oh, Tony Little. There we go. I, I, I had the Tony right. You had the Tony right. You were big, I was little. So, so did Dr. Little. Paul actually. Dr. Paul actually uh, clicked actually on me as well. So there it is. Okay. So, yeah. So, Tony Little, you know, 28,000 people. But, you know, Richard Bliss Brook, uh, I've been really enjoying this masterclass. And he talks about all these network marketing companies that start. Tony Robbins gives a stat a new startup has a 96% probability of being out of business in 10 years. And of the 4% that are left, good luck there. Well, you look at Organo, you look at how they've gone through the pandemic, you look how they hit acceleration, you look how they're adding more verticals and more verticals and more expertise. You know, they, they have some things they need to work on, no doubt about it, but they're working on it. They're getting better every step of the way. So we've got a rock solid company and that's awesome. Any other questions about anything? All right. Well, then everybody. Thank you has... again for. Go for it. You can say it. You froze. Thanks for the inspiration, Dr. Bob. And oh, thanks for the inspiration, Dr. Bob. And I especially love the way you broke down the numbers. Um, it makes it look really doable. And uh, thank you for that. Because sometimes when you go out like 10 or 20, it, it's like, okay, can I do that? But five was very doable. I love that number and how it worked out. Yay. You know, I, we, we certainly want to give a doable vision. And, and, you know, it's fascinating. When Jacob first took me to an organo meeting and there were people that were sapphires, I thought, how in the world do people ever go sapphire? Because that was the first rank. You know, how do people get to $14,000 a month? Uh, and then, by the way, Kelly and I have plugged into the coaching. We're usually at 14000 by 10 a.m., day one of the month, you know? So how does that happen? We just keep doing what we're taught to do. First of the month, star achiever. We reach out to people every day. We follow up every day. If a presentation is needed, we'll give a presentation every day, sometimes multiple times a day. And we just do it, just like Art Williams said. You do it and do it and keep on doing it. And then ultimately you create something really, really, really nice. I am very proud of your wife. She did an awesome speech for us on Saturday. I appreciate it. I'll pass on your uh, accolades. She is amazing. You know, she's humble, but I, I think she actually, I think deep down she knows how amazing she is. So, Thanks, Dr. Bob. I'm so impressed how you put a slideshow together in a couple hours. Well done. Ah, well, remember, that's what I do, right? I, I, Xavius had asked me that one time before. By the time you get 25,000 slides made, it's not that challenging. You just make them, you know? So that was 90% complete by the time that her talk was complete and then a little fine tuning, so. She, she was really refreshing, you know? She, she didn't complicate things. She just presented the facts, get your systems, get your routines, 
and just do it. So I enjoyed today actually immensely. I did too. Yeah. All right. Can I ask something really quick, Dr. Bob? Of course, of course. But whenever you're doing the, well, maybe not you, but whenever you are helping other people, um, and maybe even for yourself, like do your goals, do you mainly go off of the commissional volume or do you just focus on the rank and the, the money? Because like, for instance, um, one of our goals, we're still trying to figure out how to get to like a thousand dollars, not a thousand, ten thousand dollars a month. So then I'm thinking, okay, well, do we need to focus on the rank and break down the rank and the volume that way? Or do we focus on the money? uh and break down the ten thousand dollars that way so i'm just kind of curious as to how do you do you focus on the rank or do you focus on the uh the qb or the cv in the back office well i don't focus on either of those things what i do is i focus on the process and i've had this conversation with organo many many times you know they're saying you got to recruit this many people you have to have this many leadership legs you have to do this you have to do that no what i need to do is I need to reach out to new people every day. I need to make a new connection every day. Now I need to ask people, will you listen to my one minute story? And then I ask them, does that inspire you to listen to more? Uh, and that's what I'm gonna do. And that's what builds the business. Now, because we have people, you know, if, if someone needs a little bit more, they send a message, they say, you know, I need advice on such and such a thing. Uh, and, you know, John Maxwell has written, you know, a lot about how to find a mentor, how to approach a mentor and you say, okay, here's me, here's my background, here's what I'm doing consistently, here's my roadblock, what do you suggest? And by the way, I did a couple of these conversations with people this week, and I go back to Jeff Roberti. So if you don't know who Jeff Roberti is, Jeff Roberti has earned over $100 million lifetime commissions in a company called Juice Plus, selling fruit and vegetables in capsules. So they probably even created that market. I don't know that it even existed before then, but 100 million is what he's been paid. And he says, people will often come up to him with a challenge. They'll be frustrated. They'll say, you know, I did this, I did that. This isn't working, that isn't working, that isn't working. Now picture Jeff's been doing this a while, like 35 years. And he'll sit back and he'll say, yeah, you know what? I, I remember when something very, very, very similar happened to me. Uh, do you know how I get past it? And they say, well, that's what I'm asking. How'd you get, how do you get past it? He says, I just talked to more people. Mm. And it didn't matter what the problem was. People won't listen. Well, I just talked to more people. People don't want opportunity. Yeah, I, I heard people say that. I just talked to more people. People don't drink coffee. Yeah, I, I heard that. So uh, I just talked to more people, you know? Uh, and ultimately, as you get better, that's really the key get better, stronger, faster, smarter, every single day, a little better, a little better, a little better, a little better. Uh, and, you know, the metamorphosis. So I'm, I'm trying to think, was it on the accelerator two weeks ago, they were talking about some young man that went to a mentor, he showed up at a coffee shop, had ripped shorts, a holy t-shirt. Uh, and he said to him, you know, I, I want to be a great networker, what do I need to do? And he said, well, whatever that great networker is, become them. What does that person look like? What do they wear? How do they groom? How do they smell? How do they smile? How do they shake a hand? And you start greeting people as that great networker every single day, every single day, every single day. And let's see what happens. Well, the following year, they had a, a contest where they gave away a red Corvette, I think it was, to the top recruiter in North America. And this guy won it. And, and so how fast can it turn around? It turns with one decision. And it doesn't really matter where you are, who you are, uh, you know, when, when you get the why and the why is to make the world better. Ultimately, when, when the why is all about the person with the why, people catch that. But when the why is, I wanna make this a better place, I want people to be happy, healthy, empowered, rich, ready to take care of their family, and it's my duty, it's my service, it's my obligation. That's why I'm sharing this. And come forward with that and you can't help but grow. Now, who else can you control besides you? Nobody. Who can you influence? A lot of people. And they say, wow, I saw how she changed. I saw how her life is better. I want that. A lot of people can say that about what they see in Eric Worre, that's for sure. You know, you look at the life that he's created and 
what do you do? He got a little better every day, a little better every day, a little better every day. Thank you. You're very welcome. So by the way, process, I'm the process guy. And you guys are amazing. You have an hour of power. My, I have my hour of power, but about a half hour of that is business. And I got my Facebook birthdays and I reach out to people and I wish them a happy birthday. Uh, and then I try to strike up a conversation. So uh, when I'm wishing them a happy birthday, I don't say, hey, happy birthday. I want to listen to my one minute story. I'm kind of using the Fraser Brooks thing. Happy birthday. How are you? You know, how are things? And it doesn't always lead to a conversation where I ask them about my one minute story. But I'll, you know, now what I'm doing is I'm circling back 10, 14 days later. I'll go to their timeline. Hey, I see you posted this. That was awesome. Thank you for being good for the world. By the way, I'm taking a business class. They recommend telling my one minute story. Would you be willing to listen to my one minute story? So circle back. The fortune's in the follow up. That's good to know that you, like I, what I caught was you don't do it right then. You said you wait a week, a week or two or two, you said 14 days. Well, whatever the time frame, it probably be 10 days, it might be seven days, but on, on, on birthdays, now I used to prospect on birthdays. You know, I did. What I'd tell people is happy birthday. Uh, I would love to give you the gift of health. I've got the world's healthiest gourmet coffee and tea. We got black latte mocha, green and red. Can I gift you some for your birthday? You know, and, and I did plenty of that. So, mm. you know, ultimately just do whatever you want to do. Now, I also have started to audit my Facebook list, like Fraser Brooks says. And I found out that there's people I wished happy birthday for several years and I never got a reply. Mm. So guess what? Unfriend. And you unfriend one and a new person pops up and wants to be your friend. Okay, cool. Let me see this new person. Do we look like we have stuff in common? Okay, let's be friends. Now, or, organo people might not like this, but if, if people are already on our team, I'll send them a message and say, I use this for, for prospecting. If you ever want to reach me, you can send me a message anytime, but you know, I'll be your friend, but not your Facebook friend, you know, because I want to keep those spots open for those 5,000. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. For I like that for I like to add four cents to that. Actually, we've uh, we've heard it many many times before. It's relationships, relationships, relationships. And a line that really hits home with me is, "People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care." So put them first before yourself. Right on. Okay. Well, thank you all, beautiful humans. Tomorrow's Ask the Doctor. Uh, I, I haven't figured out what topic I'm going to do. I'll figure it out by tomorrow. Any requests? Blood chemistry. Ah, I could do that. <laughs> lupus and fibromyalgia, please. You want to throw in a fibromyalgia? And lupus. And lupus. Yeah, that, I have, I have those, two, those could be long. I have two guests long. coming on tomorrow evening. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. All right, then. Thank you, Dr. Bob. Thank you, Dr. Bob. You are all very welcome. And Thanks, thank Dr. you. Bob. Love you all. Big love to all.